us to try to take care of the guy that I was talking to. I don't know what happened. Um, I'll go down there. There was a, there was a guy named Mohammed that I was talking to last night. Do you, were you guys there last night? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't get it. I was just talking. Uh, he, he was just at the scene. I think he just left the uh, service. He was talking. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can get off. Let's see if I can get off. Yeah, it's not the What do you say? I was asking, I said, so if there's a crime scene up and it's a crime scene, you can't fly a drone over it. He said that's correct because it is an active crime scene. So the air is restricted automatically, temporarily. If you guys walk in slow motion, it looks more badass. I don't know yet, bro. We're trying. We're trying to find out. It's not too good to to be escorted by three cops like that. It doesn't look too good on you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> doesn't look too good. I'll be like, no, no, no. I'll wait. <laughs> I'd have been like, no, I'll wait. I'm not walking with you over there. They are. Yeah. Oh. I told you not to answer questions. Oh. See? Oh. They didn't cuff them here, they cuffed them over there. He could he yo, they gave him a chance to leave though. They said go over there. Yeah. He waited right here to get arrested. Can you believe that? <laughs> Can you believe that? Oh, and on Audi in America, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that thumb button right now. Share this video. Share it. And go to Universal TV. Also, Universal go to Universal TV. TV. I'm sorry. Um, you can, but not right now. They're all going to be pretty busy. They're going to see the body first. What's that? They're going to see the body first. On the low man tone. That's why I figured I just want to speak to the detective real quick. Um, let me let me tell them what yeah. you do. I'm Mo. I just want to go see the body because I, I know I know that kid. That's why. Okay. I'll tell them, can I get your phone? I'll tell them to come contact you whenever you're ready. Sure, yeah. What's your last name? Mohammed M-O, H-A-M-E-D. What's your first name? Same as first. Okay. Still exactly the same. Okay, and what's your birthday? Uh, 08, 08, 1995. 95? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell them that you're, that you're yeah, sitting here waiting for them. But I don't know how long it's going to take. It's going to take some hours probably, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll figure it out. No, you're fine. They're just advising I've, me I've only had it for a couple of weeks, so I'm like, good. what can I do with it? Yeah, so as of right now, they're not letting because it could compromise. Okay, that's but fine. But when Detective, or excuse me, Captain Jackson comes out with their media unit, that's a question for him, I guess. Okay. You're very I, nice. I flew it above the Capitol City building in Jackson County, yeah. Missouri, and I, I have a problem. I don't have a problem with it. It's not my, not my service. I get it. I get it. You're fine. Thank you. Ah, thank you, guys. Oh, I got to fake Mike real news. Where's, you know the guy with the whisk? Oh, Will! He, he couldn't make it, he couldn't make it, but he's he's always with us. I'm here as a public information officer to make some initial comments about our involvement, meaning Missouri State Highway Patrol has an investigative team with the Division of Drug and Crime Control. Those investigators are here right now at the request of the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department. This investigation is very active and will be ongoing for quite some time. At approximately 6.12 this evening, officers with the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department initially identified what was to believe a homicide suspect. 
those officers identified themselves to make contact with that individual, at which time the individual presented a firearm. It is believed at this time it was a short-barreled rifle. Following those interactions, gunfire was exchanged. Kansas City, Missouri police officer, one police officer did fire his duty weapon. As a result, the individual, the suspect, was struck. No other officers fired their weapons. Life-saving measures were performed immediately and an ambulance responded to the scene. Ambulance transported the individual to Truman Medical Center but has now been pronounced deceased. At this time, as I said, our investigators are collecting evidence, collecting statements from witnesses, and interviewing all officers that were involved. This investigation will remain ongoing for quite some time. As it relates to the suspect, the next of kin have not been notified as of yet, so I will not release the name of the suspect now. But once the next of kin has been notified, we will update you all, most likely posting it on Twitter. As it relates to the investigation, why we, why the Kansas City Police Department was looking at this individual in particular as a homicide suspect, the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department will have to answer those questions as that is a separate investigation. I'll take any questions at this time. You can't tell us that the KCMO Police Department has to tell us that this is a suspect involved with the Holland homicide, double homicide last night, is that? Yes, to answer your question, I will defer to the Kansas City Police Department as it relates to their investigation. Okay, the Missouri Highway Patrol here is to investigate an officer involved shooting. Okay. Sergeant Bell, was that shot fired? Was that just one single shot? That's going to be determined by our investigative team. No officers were shot? That's correct, no officers were shot. To the best of my knowledge, no, I know for a fact no one was injured. Pronounced dead at the hospital or here? I don't know that exactly, but I know the individual was transported by ambulance to Truman. Sergeant Bell cannot confirm that this is related to double homicide. Yeah, so that's part of our investigation as well. So to determine the exact make and model of the firearm, that will happen at some point during the investigation. To determine exactly how that interaction happened, that will be analyzed as well. Was the suspect African American? Part of the identification process right now, with the next of kin not being notified, we're not trying to hide anything. It's just, it's sensitive when there's family involved that have not been yet notified. The only thing I can confirm right this second is that it was a male. So again, I'll have to defer back to the investigative team, okay? Once again, the suspect, you have to understand, it's sensitive when next of kin has not been notified. I can, once next of kin has been notified, tell you the age, tell you the last known home address, not home address, but home city and state, your first, middle initial, and last name, okay? So just bear with us. We don't suspect that's going to be drawn out for a length of time. I would suspect if you monitor our Twitter account through the evening, that information will be released as soon as next of kin can be notified. There have been on rare occasions, next of kin being from different locations throughout the state or throughout the country or even a different country where it takes a little bit more time, okay? Can you share whether this was like a traffic stop scenario, a residence visit, or an encounter on the street? We'll say it was an encounter on the street, okay? Were the officers wearing body cameras? 
so that's going to have to be a question for the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department on their policies and procedures and their equipment, etc. Okay, at this time, uh, it doesn't appear to have any more questions, and I really don't have any other information. Once we get that information, please monitor our Twitter account. Uh, that's MSHP uh, Trooper A uh, Twitter account. We'll do as much information on that as we possibly can as soon as we can. Thank <laughs> you.